Hey everybody, Zeno here, and welcome back to another episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. We have a really good one here for you today because... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I unlocked a new character last night, you know? So like, uh, after the last, uh, last episode, we had a bit of trouble with, uh, Soga and everything. I was like, okay, maybe I should level up a bit. I also looked at the level, uh, recommendation for this one. 33. We were like, um, we were at this last time, I'm showing it on screen right now, but yeah, it, it was, um, it was quite a difference, so <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some leveling up. And as you remember, we had this, uh, great fairy quest that popped up, uh, at the end of last episode, too. So I, I said, okay, I'm gonna pursue that and see just what happens, uh, and if I can level up some more characters that way. So I did the fairy fountain quest here, there were like, uh, three others as well. And after I completed those, after I completed those, you know what, I... <laughs> I unlocked a new character, the Great Fairies, and they are freaking hilarious to watch. So <laughs> we're going to go into today's episode at the Yiga Clan hideouts and take in the Great Fairy. Fairies, sorry. <laughs> and I don't know how this is going to go because, um, you know, the Great Fairy is a very large character, very... very interesting to watch, and this is an indoor space for the most part, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, but, uh, yeah, so, that, that's what we're doing. Apparently, we don't have to take Lincoln on this mission, which is a welcome change. Uh, we can see some more characters here. I think Mifa is up for some more time in the spotlight, because it's, <laughs> it's been just, uh, a really long time since we've seen her, but, yeah, this is the Great Fairy here. A playable character in this game. I guess it makes some, some sense, because, um, you know, in the original Hyrule Warriors, the Ocarina of Time Great Fairy was playable, so I guess the devs are just a really big fan of the Great Fairies, I don't know. But, um... Oh my, how scrumptious! They kinda scare me. <laughs> so, let, let's just get into today's mission and uh, stop thinking about how much the Great Fairies scare me, yeah. You see what I mean, though, right? <laughs> what the heck? Now that the network of Sheikah Towers had been restored in full, the Sheikah Slate bestowed upon Zelda's party detailed knowledge of all Hyrule. Empowered with this immense trove of knowledge, Hura began running calculations to locate monster camps and the Yiga clan hideout. In hopes of heading off an assault on Hyrule Castle before it could begin, Urbosa and Divine Beast Va Naboris were sent on a mission to root out the king's enemies. Well, it's time. You and I must now ride into battle without the luxury of training. Then again, <laughs> experience is the best teacher. All right, looks like we're ready for a full-on assault of the Yiga Clan hideout with Von Naboris itself. Um, I'm I'm sorry, Yiga Clan, but this is just it's not it's not going to be good for them. Look at the numbers they're already losing. They've already lost so many. Look, 80 people gone already. It's it's just it's it's oh it's massacre for them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Say a prayer, Yiga Urbosa is coming. That's what I was saying. You know, this is. <laughs> Not gonna be a good thing for them at all. Not gonna be good for them at all. So this, I believe, is actually the last Divine Beast we haven't seen yet. And what does this attack do? Lightning. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, we have the Intercept here, which is kind of like a shield. Nice. Uh, what else do we have? We have Lightning Struck and Lightning. Onslaught is what I already did. Oh, we can rush. Oh, 
Is that Molduga? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm still curious if anyone actually could kill Molduga in the third mission. I want to see that. Why can I not? Okay, now I can hit people. I was like, I can't hit people for a second. So, as far as I can tell, this uh, level seems to be a bit more open than the others so far. I mean, Rivali's level is pretty open. I'm out of power or something? Oh, I am! Okay, that's interesting. So, Von Boris only has so much power at once. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Okay. Guys up here, maybe? Yeah. Quite a pair we make. Now, let's show them the will of the Gerudo people. There we go. I am going the right way, right? Oh, okay, there's like a split in the path here, so you could take two different ways. Got some guys over here. Over here. Oh, we're not even in a thousand yet? Oh, come on. Come on, I'm slacking. I missed some guys over there, I want them. All right, just a uh, little more in range here, there we go. You guys over there get to live because I'm, I don't care enough to go take you out, but. <laughs> I need to use the rush command on something. I haven't really been using it yet. Are those Stalba Coblins or... No, those are those Alphas. For some reason, they look like Stal people. All right, you've stirred up a Tempest, now suffer with lightning. Bye-bye. The frame rate didn't like that, though. All right. Nah, there we go. 1,000 KOs. I can barely not reach that guy. Alright, I'm gonna turn around and rush straight into you, actually. Overkill, but you know. <laughs> that poor guy. Oh, Moduga. I saw it, like, go up into the air. I don't know where it went after that. Alright, this looks like the Yiga, uh, Yiga Clan base right here. And I'm going to totally obliterate it. <laughs> Poor guys. They're just being absolutely slaughtered. I mean, Soga and Koga in that cutscene a while back, they, they were right. They really did not want the, the good guys to get their location because um, they have four giant mechanical beasts that they can do that with. So much damage. See, th this is why they buried them away 100, 1,000 years ago. They're so destructive. Using Pura's insights, Urbosa easily accomplished her mission. Thus, were Zelda and the others witness to the immense capability of the Sheikah Towers. The Varna Boris mission cleared a path directly to the Yiga clan hideout. Looking to exploit this advantage, the champions moved in to strike at once. See this? You can actually, like, uh, if you double tap the R button, you can make a guardian run and I just I enjoyed that also I want to see does the great fairy show up on the screen with a silhouette she does <laughs> oh I can't wait for you guys to see this <laughs> yep she's this big look those are the other characters this is the great fairy <laughs> oh my gosh okay so <laughs> the great fairy will summon different great fairies to battle Alright, let's see here, actually. So we have regular attack, regular attack, regular attack, and then we have one. Alright, so we have three different variations on our strong attacks, and we can summon different great fairies depending on the attack used. Each great fairy has their own unique action. Interesting! Alright, let's see here. So, what does she have? She does... Flowers, cool. You... Oh, and that changes the great fairy, too. Wait, does it? I thought, okay. If I do this... All right, now we got a new great fairy. What does she do? She throws weeds. Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. One. 
two, three, four. Where are the other great fairies? I want to see their special attacks. Also, who burned this place? Was that Von... Von Amoris? Was this Von Amoris' work? I love the running animation, too. They just go back into the... Into the thing. So, from what I've seen so far, I did play, like, one mission with a great fairy because I was like, I have to see this right away. <laughs> but, uh, they seem to be very slow. I want to see this, actually. Yeah, they literally just, like, hover like that. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, they seem to be pretty slow, very big, so easy to hit. But they pack quite a punch, as you can see here. Quite a punch. I actually had to fight the Great Fairy, like, three different times for, um... The quest I did to unlock them. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot the horse god comes out for, like, some of the special ones. <laughs> it just sends horses out. That's, that's amazing. I love this so much. It doesn't make any sense, but it's so great. Oh my gosh. So, like, um... Canon-wise... This doesn't really work too well. I mean, uh, did they, like, really recruit a great fairy to, like, just, uh... Go around and massacre the Yiga with them? Also, I'm going the wrong way. D is that really what happened? I don't know. <laughs> I thought this was... That was usually the way. In Breath of the Wild, that was the way, I think. I guess not in this one, though. It's over here. Enlarge the mini-map? I already have, game. Oh, in okay, yeah, enlarge means, like, make it smaller, because then you see more. Ah, I get it. Is it Korok here? Just be careful not to slap the explosive right there, that would be bad. Actually, I want to see this. That was great. <laughs> Give me an apple, please. All right, let's see. Blue Moblin. I, I love this, too. Look how huge the ice pillar is. Like, you go to the top of the room and you can't even see what's happening. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Maybe this wasn't the best map to test out the Great Fairy on since it is an indoors map and it just doesn't really um work too well. But, um... Yeah, so let's see Mifa for a bit, actually. What's Mifa up to? Alright, we have Herbosa here to assist. There we go. I gotta say, I still really like Mifa's playstyle. The only thing there is, like, once you get up in the... Once you get up in the air on a water geyser, you have to make sure you get out of there by doing a down attack. Uh... A, a down strong attack, you know, because like if you just fall to the ground, you're probably gonna get hurt again So you have to like do that to get out of the way, which sometimes I forget <laughs> All right Wall jump sure Maybe There we go Almost here we go Ah, oh, come on. I thought I had it I'm not doing too well, actually. I'm <laughs> taking a lot of damage. I mean, this is recommended for, like, level 30-something characters. And I think Mifa's, like, 22, maybe? I will take this, though. Good work, Mifa. Thank you, Urbosa. Appreciate it. It's a keep back here that I need to take. Here we go. Oh, that- <laughs> I could hear her from, like, two rooms over. She's so loud! And scary, and, uh... I just, I don't know how to feel about the Great Fairy in this game. It's hilarious, and I love it, but at the same time, I'm like... This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why I felt the need to count there, but yeah. There we go. Alright. Let's see, is that, was that the keep boss? It must have been because it no longer says we have to take this place. Oh, I guess it was, it was an outpost, not a keep, I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright, so... Just swim on over here, I guess. I really wanna... Ho! Oh! Oh! Ho! Okay. Alright then. Interesting trap you got there. 
Got a Korok here. I want to see the Great Fairy go through that hallway, actually. <laughs> Alright. How the heck do you fit through here, Great Fairy? Also, don't get spiked. That would be bad. Alright, she, she barely fits. Nice. She barely fits. Oh, that was close. I thought I was going to get skewered. I still cannot see what is happening at all, though. Take me to the big room, quickly. Through here. Up here. And in here. Okay, cool. Oh, so that's her dash attack. She just, like, swipes from inside the... spiked fruit thing that she lives in. I mean, she seems like... Is that like a... It puts some kind of a pe uh, effect on them. Is it like a poison effect or something? You see like the purple swirling around them? I don't understand this character. Alright, um... Sure, do that again. It seemed pretty effective. What's your new unique action? We haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. Okay. They seem to be very plant-based with the unique actions. Alright, let's see... Sure, let's wall jump. <laughs> this has to be, like, the most... Um... <laughs> like, weirdest thing the Sheikah have ever seen. I'm sure it is. And they've seen a lot of weird stuff, I'm guessing. They live with Master Koga, you know? So... All right. I can't see what I'm doing, but I think I'm winning. Hands off our supplies, you know, you dirty do-gooders. Oh, okay. Because we are. We are good, so we're not no good. <laughs> I get it, okay. So, Mifa's already over there, so let's just switch to her. All right, where is your boss? I just, I want to see the boss. Where is he? Oh, actually, that's... That's Koga's, uh, special attack ball right there. The Yiga Heirloom, I'm guessing, is what it's called. Because, like, you have similar ones in Kakariko, so yeah. Is a big guy here yet? Um, can I just... Guys... Where are you? Okay. You're all split, uh, spread apart, so I have to take you out, like, one by one. <laughs> Here we go. Put them all in one spot there. Okay, here's the big guy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. I don't think I picked the best characters for being inside. They're not very good for visibility. <laughs> Um, stasis. Now see, that's the thing about Mifa though. She's really good at fighting moblins in particular because if you attack a moblin in the face, their weak point gauge will pop up. Like I do that with, uh, with Link all the time because like he has an arrow attack and that's also good for it. But uh, she can just like take a water geyser up and instantly break open a uh, moblin's weak point gauge, and it's... She's really good at killing moblins, I guess. Not killing, making them disappear. Yes, this is a Zelda game. We, we don't do that. They just fade away. <laughs> the weapon cache has been captured. We must keep up the pace. Where are we going? A scout has appeared. Alright, we must revitalize... Uh, wait, no. Wait. Friend... Something. Urbosa said something. <laughs> that, that's not good. I noticed, like, a second too late that I blew myself up. Alright, I'll be there soon. Try not to die in the meantime. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Wait, is this? It's not. It's just similar. I guess Koga is a really big fan of just endless pits. <laughs> that's just his thing, I guess, you know? Alright, where am I going from here? Over here... Can I just, like, knock them off? I can, cool. 
All right, don't get skewered. I actually kind of want to get skewered just to see what it's like, though. All right, this area is familiar, kind of, maybe. It looks like the area from Breath of the Wild, but it's a little bit different. They've done some major renovating over the years, I guess. I can uh, okay, I can see the giant pit that Koga falls into in Breath of the Wild on the map, so that's probably where we're gonna have a boss fight against him, I'm guessing. Maybe he falls in there again. Oh yeah, so for, for the Great Fairy, for the Great Fa uh, Fairy, I love that Stasis attack. She just like charges right through them. All right, let's see, let's see. Don't do that. Don't like it when you do that. You don't hit me. All right. I knew you were gonna do that. Ow. Let's do. What's her bomb look like? I, I don't remember. Oh, it's it's this one. All right. Let's see. Darn it! I'm too slow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm very good with the Great Fairy. She's too slow for me. Mifa, where are you? Through here? Is that? Yeah, okay. This place is so... <laughs> so easy to get lost in. What? What are you doing, Great Fairy? What are you doing? Could you, could you let me through, please? <laughs> she takes up the entire hallway. Couldn't quite reach him. I didn't expect to, but you know. There we go. Okay, so it seems like if you hit a Giga in the face too, that uh, that also pops up their weak point gauge. No, not like this. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, I knew we were gonna do that. Okay, here we go. Finish. Him off. Alright. The enemy leader is in the square at the very back. I don't know how we'll get there. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thanks for the info, at least. No, you have done what you could. The path will be revealed itself. You guys have captured my friend and took her to the dungeon. Again? A lot of foreshadowing here, I guess. Same thing happening 100 years before it happens in Breath of the Wild, you know? Wait, so we have to go back to the very beginning? Uh, she let herself in snore in the web. Sounds like a reckless one. Okay, so... Great fairy. You can, you can head on back over there, you know? You can just you can head on back over there. Maybe. No, guess not. <laughs> Well, you can, you can at least go over there, and then we'll redirect you from there. But yeah, um... Alright, we better break it uh, break her out quickly. She might have some useful information. Sounds good to me. So where can I fight people? I can break these boxes. Get money and bananas. Who doesn't love a good money and bananas? I wanna get up there, actually. If I can. Come on, Mifa. You can do this. There you go. Just no, I want the I want the box, okay? I don't even know if I can get it. No, it's just there for decoration. That's kinda dumb. You put boxes right next to it and then boxes for decoration. Whatever, game, whatever. The gate's closed, you can blade masters here. Oh no. It was trap. Ow. There we go. Out of the way, Amifa, before he attacks again. I did not mean to go into the water spout. I meant to make a new one. Nice. I didn't even mean to wall jump there, but it worked. <laughs> Come on! Ah, so close, again. 
dodge too early. Okay, got him. What's happening over here, Great Fairy? Are you in an ambush or something, or are you just, like, uh, hanging out? I think she's just hanging out. Cool. So... We want to go this way, I think, right? Yeah, back up the... Nope. Wrong way, actually. <laughs> I told you, so easy to get lost in this place. I bet Koga, Soga, Aster, they walk around this place every day and they can't find where the meeting room is, you know? They're just like, where the heck... Where's the meeting room? Where's the room with the Harbringer? Harb Harbinger? Yeah, Harbinger. Where is it? Don't know. Okay, uh... Moblin, ambush, not good. Alright. Eat the weeds. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. She's so slow. She's so slow, but so powerful. Where the heck did he even go? See, I can't see- Okay, that's the problem. Great Fairy is way too slow, um, way too easy to hit, and um, way too hard to see. Especially in the Yiga Clan hideout, you know? But it's hilarious. It's fun to- I'm sure it's fun to watch. <laughs> because you can't watch it. But it is hilarious. Okay, let's see. Does that hurt him? S standing on the spikes, does that hurt him? Or is he, he just impervious to it? I get, okay, he can take the spikes. That's actually- that's pretty cool, man. Nice. Would expect no less from the Great Fairy. We must strive to keep up. Nice. So, is our Gerudo friend back here? Right here? Hello? Oh, this one. Hello! How do I open this? Tell me what happened. Oh. So we're just taking the information from you? We're not, we're not, we're not gonna set you free? I discovered a secret door, but as soon as I got my hands on the key to it, they ambushed me. Where? Where is he? Oh, there he is. See, she's so big and easy to hit. You know what? I, I do want to show this off, though. Um, her special attack, because her special attack is amazing. And I also need to show you that I've unlocked a... See? It's just the, it's the kiss that she does to Link in Breath of the Wild. It's, it's great. But, um, I also wanted to tell you I unlocked a second special gauge for a few characters. For Obosa, um, Rivali, and the Great Fairy. So yeah, that is a thing that is in this game. And I was kind of complaining about it. I think that was even last mission that I was complaining about. I, I miss the second special gauge and everything. But, uh... No, here it is now, so... I can stop complaining. <laughs> Alright, so what's happening here? Oh, the secret door. Thanks. Mifa, why are you all the way back over here? You were supposed to stay over there. Okay, now we sever the head of the snake. Uh, storm in. Sounds cool. I'm just... <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. Nothing to see here. You know, just your average spiked fruit, uh, you know, just making its way downtown. Finding a Korok I didn't even mean to find, but yeah. I've been finding a lot of Koroks this mission. Probably the most I've found yet. Alright, so if I go here... Alright. Yeah, this is a central base. So we want to go... Well, no, we can go this way, which might be easier. No, not that way. This way. There's probably an ambush in here, but it's easier to get to where we need to go, so. Just kind of walked over the spikes there. Didn't hurt me. That's cool. No ambush. This is a... It's not a dead end. Okay, yeah. You go up this way. Wait, am I going the complete wrong way? Did Mifa find it? Oh yeah, Soga's here. So yeah, Mifa was in the right place. Um, get back over here, Great Fairy. For some reason I thought it would be back over on this side, but no, just look at the map, it's over there. I gotta get back on my game. If you guys couldn't tell, this is a new day. And, uh, 
Every new day that I start recording and playing the game again, I lose everything that I learned the, the last day, basically. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. You're going down, though, Soga. Not this time. You will not take me down this time. Bomb, 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 bomb. Nice. Alright, Soga. More Cryonis? I can do that. He's making it too easy. Nice. Mifa's a lot of fun to play. Just a lot of fun to play. You, ju it, you just gotta do it right. You can't, like, um, get caught in the air too much. Because that will mess you up. But, um... Besides that, pretty good. I didn't have the bomb ready, so that was my fault. The Great Fairy is almost here to help us out, so that'll be good. Can I... Cryonis again? Nice. Out of the way, Mifa! Bomb! And... here. Okay, so... I guess since we're fighting Soga... I want to talk about him a little bit more. I mentioned it last episode when we actually saw the cutscene. But since rewatching the cutscene again... I feel even more strongly, something is up with Soga. There's something he's not sharing. You see in uh, the cutscene from last episode where he's like... Uh, Mentioning under his breath that the seer, uh, the seer is a fool. So Aster is a fool, is what he's saying. And, um... There's the Great Fairy. <laughs> and he, he just seems like he knows more than he's letting on. And I keep, I keep even going back to... A quote that came from one of the previews for the game. Back in... The video I did covering that. We just keep going back to that video. Because there was a lot of stuff in that video that actually does it it's it predicted a lot of stuff in the game and all that yeah it's 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 cool it's great it's fine i can't tell what's happening but uh <laughs> i'm dying that's what's happening yeah i just got stuck in the corner there the great fairy is it's so hard because like her hitbox makes it impossible to move around her but yeah as i was saying free yourself you're free cool um i think there's more to soga than he lets on in that preview, I remember them saying uh, that pay attention to how he gets involved in the story. That was a quote that, that came out of that uh, preview. It was a caption under one of the images, and I'm like, hmm. That makes even more sense now. But now he's going to get beat up by the Great Fairy. Poor guy. Just like several... Bombs to the head. That could not have felt good. Not ready yet, Soga. Wait a second. Ow. I said wait! Ow. Yeah, I get slapped by the Great Fairy, you know? Never thought I would be saying that in this game. <laughs> Alright, let's do the bomb again. That's so effective. I love that so much. All of her, uh, moves seem very powerful. It's just she's so slow and so easy to hit. And, you know, I'm going to Mifa for now. They're actually, like, polar opposites now that I think about it. Mifa is, like, one of the fastest characters in the game. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure that Great Fairy is the slowest. <laughs> Alright, did some good damage. Let's go back to Great Fairy to get the weak point gauge down. Why are you trying to leave? You're not allowed to leave, Great Fairy. You must stay and fight. Do your part. Everyone is counting on me. I cannot fail. Don't worry, we won't uh, make the same mistake again. 
Where'd he go? There he is. I dodged! Oh, you want a bomb, eh? Crown us again, crown us again. Nope. Not yet. I think we missed him. Ow. Misa? Wall jump. Bomb, 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 bomb. That was close. That was close. We got him, though. One more cycle. Maybe? Maybe more? Okay. He's a powerful dude, not gonna lie. Sog is a pretty powerful dude. That's a new move. Alright, I was afraid he was gonna slash me again, and I was like, should I use stasis? What's he want? Bomb, bomb, bomb. Can't do that yet, though. No perishing. Not allowed. Not allowed. Did you not read the sign? Perishing not allowed. I'm taking so much damage. Apple, please. Okay. Cryonis, I can do that. Nice. Alright, let's do some... The Great Fairy keeps fleeing from battle, so I'm just gonna stay as Mifa. <laughs> She would probably be very useful right now, but she doesn't want to be here for some reason. I... I have no idea why. Maybe because we can't see when we play as her. <laughs> the game knows. One more cycle, what's gonna have to be here? Yeah. That's the one thing that I think is Mifa's biggest weakness. She seems to be not too good at uh, lowering an enemy's Weak point gauge. She seems to not pack a lot of punch. Even though she's pretty good at uh, getting in there to get attacks done very fast and all, you know, but uh... Bomb! I was too late. Oh no, it worked, maybe. I think it did. This ought to finish him, right? Yeah, there we go. It seems they bested me. Well, I haven't a moment to lose in balancing the scales. Phew, that was close. Now let's hurry. As soon as I get this chest, you know, I gotta gotta grab that real quick. Alright. Let's take the secret door. And, uh... Oh, Korok! I'm just really good at finding them today. Okay, right. okay um... Got another chest here. And where's the door? This way? Is that the way we came from, or is this... Alright, okay. It's through here. I really should use zooming in on the map. There's a reason they brought that up at the start of this mission, because they knew... <laughs> the main map wasn't that effective. <laughs> Look what you did! Well, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind one itty bitty bit. And do you know why? Hmm? Because your thread's about to get cut. And I'm the shears. Snip, snip! Hey! Yes! <laughs> what a relief it will be when you medics <laughs> are out of the picture! Today! Right now, in fact! The stupendous chief of the Yiga clan, Master Koga! Is gonna kill you all! 
to death! <laughs> Alright, so, Kog is back and <laughs> just as lovable as ever. Um, I, how could you hate this guy? It's impossible. He's amazing. I gotta find out when the first uh, fan club meeting is. Uh, oh gosh. And uh, can I just bring up again his his theme? I really love this theme. Like it was already good in Breath of the Wild, but they just made and like they lifted it and just made it much more upbeat and better. And I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do because it was already so great. But yeah. Magnesis? Nope. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna switch to Great Fairy for a bit, actually. This is her kind of arena. It's very large, so you can actually see what's happening. <laughs> to an extent, you know, but... Um... All right, Koga. What you got now? Ow. Nope. Magnesis? I used it too early? Now? Okay. See, I can't- I can't see him. I know I'm hurting him, but I can't see him. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, Cryonis, this'll finish him off for the weak point smash. Huff, huff, what a huff, dirty trick. I love how I just said huff instead of actually <laughs> making the sound. All right, let's uh, stasis you there. Oh no, reinforcements. Suga's back at it again. How many times is Suga gonna show up to fight us? And also, why does he love Koga so much? Why are they such good friends? Is Suga his son? Is there some kind of family relationship there? Man, I really wish I had a more powerful char a more powerful character right about now, you know. Because these characters are kind of underleveled. We can get through it though. We can do it. I like a challenge. So you have to keep an eye on both of them, though, and that's the problem. All right, great fairy, do your stuff, do a special. <laughs> oh, that's too perfect. Oh, Koga. There we go. I'm just worried Suga's gonna come up behind me and attack me or something. <laughs> Stasis! Alright. Koga's down. Let's use a special. Mifa's Grace. We heal a little bit as well. Great Fairy. How about this? Since he's using Cryonis, I'll freeze him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, let's see... Oh! There he is! I was like, Soga's gonna do something, I know it. There we go. Koga's almost down! That was, uh... Pretty well time perfect dodge. Cryonis. This might take Koga down. Not quite. Great fairy, let's do you again. You have a special ready. Oh wait. Koga's doing something! Alright, Koga's almost down. I'm gonna focus on him for now. Bomb, I think, is what he wanted. I was wrong. <laughs> no. 
Cronus? Too late. He's very close, though. Oh, he sure was close, actually. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I'm gonna dazzle you with my next move. An ancient technique called running away. <laughs> It's never over for Master Koga. Never over. Alright, so that was an interesting stage. Uh, you guys get to see the Great Sari a little bit there. Probably not going to use her again for a while. I'm not a big fan of the character, honestly. Um, I mean, it's hilarious she's in here and everything, but like her playstyle is just way too slow, way too easy to hit. And, uh, yeah. But anyway. Let's see uh, what's next. Oh, we got some... Uh, New Dazzling Bangles for the Great Fairy. New Spear for Mipha. Some meat, some chicken, and some ores. And two new recipes. Man. Not gonna lie, those look pretty good. Pretty good veggie rice balls and creamy meat soup. They look nice. Hello. <laughs> hey, Prophecy Man! <laughs> You missed the part where we get walloped! I am afraid we cannot overlook this failure. Can't do it! Seer. Hmm. Fate decides all. Even this defeat. Huh? As you well know, if you decided to turn against me, you would make an enemy of Calamity Ganon. <laughs> so you see then. Good. We will need each other's help if we are to achieve our grand purpose. In the name of Calamity Ganon, you and I are bound. Let us turn our eyes to the task before us. Yes. These Sheikah Towers, <laughs> they are rather useful, I admit. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, but just wait. There's one more thing I gotta show ya. <laughs> Pura, a little warning would have been nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but look, is this technology amazing or what? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Right now we can't teleport many people at once. And anywho, there aren't many places we can travel. But with further study, I think these towers will be invaluable. Lucky for us, I have lots of new researchers on my team too. Won't be easy, but we're not gonna let that stop us, eh? <laughs> I know that you won't. <laughs> I wish I could join you, but now... <clears throat> ah, anyway, I'm glad for your help, Pura. So, even more interesting developments with uh, Aster there. As well as uh, some more information about how the Sheikah Towers, can uh, they now figured out how to teleport people, so that's uh, rather interesting. What's also rather interesting is what I see the next spot on this, um, this map is when Courage Falls. And uh, this is over by the- that's the Zonai Ruins right there. And you all know how us Zelda theorists love the Zonai, so I'm um, interested to see what's going to happen in the next episode. So, I hope you guys will join me then when we continue our march to defeating Calamity. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully not, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but um, until then, guys, have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.